guys, I'm Rachel and I'm a good hair doll. This video is to give you an insight on the company, my experience with it, my opinion on it and how to take care of the hair, how I've managed to take care of the hair after it's been coloured and etc and so forth. I'd like to apologise in advance because I have a really really bad sore throat that I've been battling for like three weeks which is getting really annoying. But um, yeah. Also about my camera quality, I'm not a YouTube guru so I just have my basic Mac but I still hope the video is beneficial enough for everyone watching. In my hair right now, I have Brazilian wavy, 16, 18 and 20 inches. As I said, it is wavy but I've curled it a little bit so it does look a bit shorter than it is but it's quite long hair actually. It has been dyed from its natural state. It did come in a browny black type of colour but good hair offer a service where they dye it and we did it, at the, well they did it at the photo shoot. It's kind of like a browny blonde colour. Loads of strawberry browns and honey blonde so it's really really rich which I was really really happy with at the end at first I was a bit scared even though I have been blonde before I was scared going blonde you're like ah oh, you never know but I was so happy because I was like oh Beyonce ask hello bohemia so I was really really happy with the hair at the end to me the best aspects of this hair well, number one would have to be the fact that it took so well to the dye, considering when you're dyeing your hair, especially lifting the colour to about four tones lighter, there will be some breakage. I mean, to be honest, there's been minimal breakage. Like, it's still as full as it was and it still has maintained its length, which I'm ecstatic about because I have tried other companies and there's been serious breakage and just the length has shortened dramatically because I dye my own hair so I'd be able to vouch for that so I'm really really glad about that second thing I'd have to say is the versatility of the hair love 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 when you buy hair well personally when I buy hair I want to be able to know that I can go from dead bone straight to like really really curly to like a beach wig I want to do everything to it and I want to make sure it looks natural and it doesn't go like staticky frizzy so with this like yesterday was dead bone and then today I put in like a few little curls of my GHDs quickly and yeah it really takes to it and it's still strong obviously I've conditioned about I've conditioned it myself sorry but I'll talk about that later on in the video my third thing will have to be the minimal amount of shedding I love well that all determines with what combs you use and how you treat the hair and every hair will shed but literally like there's like one strand per every two weeks honestly and this is me being very very serious it is amazing What I do to take care of my hair on like a daily basis, um, I'll go through my daily routine, then I'll go to what I did as soon as I got my hair. So on a daily basis, what I do just to comb it out and you know, just the natural stuff, just to comb it, style it. I use a white tooth comb. You can find this anywhere at any hair store, whether it be Afro Beauty, European, anywhere. This is the white tooth comb. You can't go wrong with it. It's cheap amazing get it I use this one I got this with um Jose Eber curlers that I have but you can get it anywhere I've seen it in boots for $2.99 I think this basically combs out your hair when your hair's extremely curly this side of it combs it out and does not take out the curl pattern and it detangles it as well and this side just brings out the curl so it's more of a glamorous big blown out look this comb is incredible it's amazing I use it and I tell every, all my friends, like, oh my god, you need it, oh my god, you need it. It's been missing about five times and I've had to go to friends' houses and go get it. But it's really, really worth it, so girls, definitely go out and get it. What I've been trying to find but I can't find, which I think my sister has taken with her on her trip to Egypt, is my paddle brush. I bought that in Boots. It's like $2.99. I can't find it, as I said, but it is amazing. Basically, all these brushes, the reason why I've shown you them is that they create less shedding, but they are able to style your hair. And again, they won't pull at the weft, so less shed, more hair, fabulous. We can't complain. So what I did after the photo shoot, as I said, it was dyed and my hair was damaged as well, so I needed to give it, my hair a little bit of a break. So I took out the weave, because it was a normal sew-in, then I went to go conditioning. These are my things that I use to condition. 
I use the Aussie products, which I live by, the Aussie Miracle Moist. So I got the hair, just laid it down on the table. See, this is the table. Laid it down, squirted some of the Miracle Moist. Then I went on to squirting the three minute miracle condition. This is amazing for colored damaged hair. So squirted that on as well. Got a tablespoon of virgin, deep virgin oil, olive oil from my mummy's kitchen. She doesn't know, hopefully she'll never find out because I'll be in so much trouble. <laughs> Got a tablespoon of that, put it on the hair as well. Then I also put a little bit of African share butter. Well, you can buy this. I know it says African, but I bought it from Peckham for like $3.99. But it is originally from Ghana. So, yeah, I put a little bit and I literally massaged all these products into the hair. Left it in a bag for two to three days. Some people can leave it overnight. It's just up to your own preference. I just wanted the moisture back in and I needed it to really, really soak into that conditioner so it got that good kick. And I was really, really happy because it came back to its natural state. So I was really, really, really ecstatic. When drying the hair, you do need to add something so that it still locks in that moisture. So what I use then, and what I use before I straighten my hair, curl it, is the most amazing product and it's the most inexpensive product as well. Because when you spend money on your hair, you don't really want to go start spending money on all those other expensive products. So this, this is amazing. It's my olive oil moisturizing shine serum this was 2 dollars for this little bottle but for like a way way bigger bottle is $3.99 and I got this at an Afro Beauty store in Peckham absolutely incredible like I literally just picked it up by mistake and I will never be going back I think I'm gonna order this in bulk now because it's ridiculously amazing you know, time I straighten my hair just before I do or curl it, I put a little bit of this in, my olive oil, and um, I go ahead to straighten my hair and it literally, literally does moisturise your hair. It gives it that shine without making it look greasy. Some people may like their hair greasy, I'm not saying that, you know, anything's wrong with it, but me personally, I like my hair to look shiny, but not greasy. So this was my favourite product to use on this hair so far, and I've had this hair in coming up to five weeks, I think. So, yeah, I can't complain. These are my products that I use daily. So we're now at the end of the video. I want to say thank you to all those who sat down and watched me blabber on because I know I can talk a lot sometimes, especially when it comes to hair because I'm so passionate about it. Um, please, please subscribe to the Good Hair channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Hopefully there'll be a lot more videos from me, maybe, obviously Esther, and I don't know, maybe a few other star guests. You never ever know. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the question box thing down below. I'm not really sure how this works. Also, if you want to know prices, details about the hair, if you didn't catch in the video, I think it's in the box below, so do check that out. If you're still confused and you want some more help, please feel free to. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. God bless and thank you for watching again. Take care. Bye.